Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil, and the uh, small dev team over at BeamNG Drive just uh, put an entry in their dev blog, which basically says that they're about to release a pretty massive update, since they haven't in a while, and it's pretty much going to upgrade a lot of stuff to the engine and a lot of stuff to the actual game, so I think I'm just going to read the entry. It's pretty hefty, so just bear with me and all my grammatical errors and inability to read, but... It should be pretty interesting. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> we know that it's been a long time since we've released an update, and the plan going forward is to greatly increase the frequency of these updates. The next update will be a large pre-race update containing all the physics updates, vehicle updates, including the pigeon, which is basically like a, a three-wheeled car that looks like a, um, what's that car called? Reliant Robin, that's it. <laughs> the best car of all time, <clears throat> terrain updates, and the new user interface UI basics. The racing system, East Coast map, the Javril T75, which is a semi, if I, if I remember correctly, will not be included in this update, but they will be released in smaller updates a little bit later on. We will try to continually release small updates at a fast pace that will integrate the features that are in the race update. So, no more bug updates will with long delays, but rather small, short, and simple ones. We, we ran into a lot of unexpected hurdles and had to rewrite, <laughs> rewrite a lot of code just to get things back to a working state. After the pre-race update, it will be full throttle on the racing system. In addition, you will be able to enjoy a much more functional updater with faster download speeds and less fighting with antiviruses, firewalls, and file permissions. And they have a link to a pretty much an updater first public test which is just their new updating system you can try it out and tell them what's wrong with it so they can fix it i will be doing that in just a little bit all right continuing unfortunately because of the large changes to official content lua collisions friction and other core physics many mods will not be will need to be updated to work correctly this is no way there is no way around this you will have to adapt your mods to work well again if the update breaks it which really I don't think is going to be a big problem for the people making these mods. I'll just have to reinstall them all, which kind of sucks, but it's no big deal. <clears throat> going forward, after the race updates, we might look to implement some delivery features in gameplay. Trailers, ties, tow hitches, cargo, and the like, as well as fixing the collision and friction problems with cargo carrying. It should be quite possible for us to code some delivery missions. Ooh, that sounds pretty cool, actually. We're also interested in hearing from you, the community, as to what direction development should take as far as features and gameplay are concerned. As the possibilities are a bit overwhelming and we are a small development team, it is important to concentrate our resources on whatever is most important to our community. And I think I really like that because they they don't care about making money per se, they just care about making the community, us, happy, the, the people that make videos on it and the people that watch them, you guys, so... If you have any ideas, you should definitely shoot some their way because they're really nice people. <laughs> All right, here's a list of the changes that are already done for this pre-race update. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, this is pretty hefty. Vehicle updates. Added vehicle. Abishu Pigeon. Global improvements to handling and top speed tire tuning. Roll cage optional parts added to Covette for race and rally models. New Covette Sport as a factory model plus 10 horsepower, sportier suspension, and wheels. Added fender flare parts, engine variants, and two new sets of wheels, tires to the bull eyed to create two new factory variants, the 320 and the 390 GTR. Adjusted shift points for all automatic transmissions. Um, added 5-speed manual spin transmission to the D-Series and the Grand Marshal. Um, and better enable steering wheels for the D-Series and recalibrated speedometers. Um, revised torque curves for the Dreville I6 and the V8 engines, 230 horsepower for the standard V8s. Engine tuning stage parts added to the Dreville V8 engines. Factory sports models added to the Grand Marshal and D15 using stage 1 engine tuning. Added additional welding differences to the D series, H series, and the Grand Marshal. Drift missile variants added to the D series, H series, and Grand Marshal. Repaintable decals for the H series. Put your own fancy logo on it. That's pretty cool. Fix so I can put my my channel logo on the car if I wanted to. 
Fix for brake lights only coming on 50% pressure. All gauges now glow when the engine is running. Various tweaks, fixes, improvements to all vehicles. Revised some vehicle part weights and new default colors. So yeah, that sounded like a lot, but a lot of it is pretty goddamn awesome. Alright, for the terrain updates, we have the improved road materials, improved textures, improved roads, improved terrain, improved lighting, improved sun flares, improved skybox textures, improved objects, so new objects and vegetation, and new reference images for all maps, so that's basically, basically gonna change the look of the entire game. It's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty polished looking. And they also changed a lot of the physics also, so, Around 25% performance improvements, more stable and accurate collisions. So that means it won't look as flimsy and like cars getting stuck together. Um, the height map, height map, height map bug fixes and optimization, static collision optimization, which means terrain objects are faster and reload quicker. Improved flex body performance, friction and ground model improvements, brake and parking brake greatly improved and extremely effective. Fixed water density, engine reaction torque added, automatic transition, launch behavior greatly improved, realistic automatic transmission mode implemented. Removed ability to manually shift on an automatic transmission as if it were a manual. Differentiate between automatic and manual transmission added. Remo removed auto clutch while changing gears, adding auto clutch. Increased wheel and beam limits. Fixed physics, crashing problems with beams and zero spring deforming. Adding warning for zero size beams, more fault tolerant drivetrain. So basically that's going to change the way, pretty much overhauling the way the physics works too. So it's going to be, if you thought it was realistic already, it's going to be even more so. Next we have the user interface, the UI, and they're changing a little bit to that. Um, they're completely rewriting the UI using HTML5 developed in an open source manner. Modular and flexible customized system with widgets, rewritten debug functionality also. So guys, that is the majority of this next update. It's going to be pretty damn awesome, and I guess it is coming pretty soon. So keep a lookout on my channel for, I'll probably make a detailed video on, or maybe even more than one, and all the new changes in the game, and it should be pretty damn interesting. And not soon after that, they're releasing the race update. So that's going to be pretty pretty goddamn epic so stay in touch guys i will see you later my name is neil bye where is the update give us the update we want the update